shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. On Wednesday, I talked about the name Jesus. If you don't know, there is no proper message that can start without the name Jesus. I talked about this name. We need to be, you know, grateful and thank to God Almighty for the gift of life. There are so many people who would want to be where we are. For you and me to be here today, it is by the grace of God. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. The name Jesus is a gift that is from God Almighty. But what we are lacking is to understand this name Jesus. Why the name Jesus? Peter was there, John was there, Elijah was there, Moses was there, Joshua was there, Abraham was there. Why the name Jesus again? This is what we, you know, we are lacking. And I'm praying to God Almighty that you people of God, you must know that the reason why you are going to church or receiving miracle or whatever you may have in life is because of salvation. Whatever you become in this life, people of God, don't forget that it is because of salvation. The whole purpose of life is salvation. Even if you know you are getting married this weekend or next weekend, or maybe you are being promoted or you received your money, remember that anything that you have is because of salvation. Understand the name Jesus. That is my simple title this morning once again. Understand what? Stop crying about, you know, I have no father, I have no uncle, I have no one. Jesus is your father. Jesus is your uncle. Jesus is your mother. Jesus is everything to your life. There are some of you who have got mothers and fathers and they can do nothing to you. No, I have no husband. I have no this. I'm going through disappointment. Yes. The standard of this world is full of problems. That is the nature of the world. That is the more reason why Jesus came. It will give you what? A new platform as a child of God. I know I didn't ask you this question. Let me ask you. Chisha wa mapo paku kabano kutalala. Eh? Ukutalala. Eh? Ngokaba. Thank you. God bless you. Let's go to the book of John 14. Then we leave John 14. We go to John 17, verse 20. But let me start with John 14. Verse 6. My message or the message of Jesus this morning is very simple. We all know John 14. We read this book on a daily basis. But if you cannot understand the purpose of this scripture, you will not understand the name Jesus. Verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and you have seen him. Praise the Lord. Just six and seven. Jesus answered Thomas. He said, I am the way. 
the truth and the, the life. What does it mean to you believers? Simply means, if you cannot understand the name Jesus, the life that you are living is contrary to his coming to this life. I mean, his purpose is defeated through the way you are living. In short, Jesus is telling you that those who are living without me, they are not existing. Whether educated, rich, or poor, the way of life is Jesus. If you are living without Jesus, the life that you are living, it is not the life of Jesus. You are on your own. You don't know what you are doing. Anything can bring you down. I am the way. The truth. Meaning, as long as you cannot understand the name Jesus, and Jesus is not in you, there is no truth in you. You are a crook. As long as Mulaikala, if you are a crook, if you are a crook, if you are a crook, if you are a this scripture will prove you wrong. Ngamuikalafe pachalo pantu muri bantu, pantu muadi sambirila, pantu muadi kuatenda lama, pantu muadi upua, ukua bula Yesu. Life yo muikala tamwa bechishinka, na mwebe na na mushwa tu mula bepa, mubepa fena ba muikala na ba, mubepa fena ba nenu, na mwebe na mula yubepa, because that is the nature in our life outside Jesus. Jesus came to do what? To bring what? A new platform for his own people. Ichalo chari kwa tabantu bachiko. Na why seven? No. Aba landa pari ni aba sumina ine. Ufule na aba pangile nshila. Na labe nshila ya abo. Imbe na chinka mulibena. Elo mbe na life ye. In short, if you fin to fibiringa tafiri muli imwe. Na life ni shitamua chitashani. Tamua kwa ta. He said, I am the way. The truth and the, if Jesus is not part of you and you cannot understand his purpose, the reason why that he came for here on earth, there is no truth in you and there is no life in you. You are just moving like an empty vessel, toasted by the wind. Whatever you encounter along the line, if it is beer, you drink beer. Gossiping, you gossip. Fighting, you fight. Fleeting around with men or women, you do that. Because the life that you are living is a questionable life. Umundu nga ampana pamona Yesu. Yesu ni change first. Yesu wa moneka shani. Yesu wa landa shani. Number one, umundu wa kwata Yesu ala kwate chishinka. Ala kwate okutemua. Tasu ngechibi. Ala kabilo kwika la mchene chakwa nani? See, we spend our quality time to the things of this world. At the end of the day, you are expecting Jesus to sustain your life spiritually. It's a lie. That one, don't be deceived by what you are doing. Your success should not mislead you that the life that you are living is in line according to the word of God. No, what gives life is the spirit of God. The money that you are making, the education that you are getting is for this flesh. What about the real life inside you? This is why you see, when you say you are sick, your body will be just okay. But inside you are feeling what? Pain. Simply means a spiritual man has been attacked spiritually who is inside you. That's why you are feeling that pain. You'll be busy looking after this flesh, and yet the one inside you is limping, is injured. Because you are not using Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life. I hope you are there. I hope you are there. Let me repeat this. When you become sick, this body will be just okay. But you start feeling what? Pain. 
simply means the original man or woman inside you has been injured spiritually by Satan. You'll be busy trying to sustain the flesh. You are neglecting the one who is wearing this body. Because you are not making Jesus the way, the truth, and the... Please, people of God, we are too familiar with the word of God. The way we are treating this word, it's like it came from you, or maybe our dad, our uncle, or our father. This word is from above. I'm too small to talk about his glory and his honor. It is by the grace of God. He said, I am the way, the truth and the meaning you cannot live by yourself or by your senses without me. There is no way for you here on earth. Come on, are you getting the point now? Jesus is telling you that I am the way for you to live happily and enjoy this life. Follow me. Use me as your way. Without me, there is no way for your life. You don't know where you are going. If there is a lion or snakes or anything that can destroy you. But if Jesus is your way, you know where you are going. You know the outcome even before you reach there. Because he is what? The truth and the life. The fullness of God is in this name Jesus. <laughs> the way you love this world the way you love money the way you do what if you ask the usher to say bring the basket of offering and they see the indala meshoba to the avantu you discover that we always give god ama change the initial chito shirimuisa shirish kwata mazilo yanga Chirimuisa, mutumba. Filangi ni lai, filangi wa kutati. Tulangale so kutati. Tuisa kama na mufio tukuata. Not if you tupela. Are you getting the point? Tuisa kama. Tuleba le so kutati. If you are fwewe ne tuichiti la. If you tule ngokuba abantu. If you tule ngokuba. And yet, it is not what you are eating. Even those who are balancing diet. You see them that their life is going where? Down. But not until Jesus have a part of your life. Na kalembula valena. No mulembwe valena. Na katapeine valena. I'm telling you the truth. It is not what you plan. But what Jesus is doing to your life. What makes all of us to be where we are? It is not because of anything. It is because of Jesus, people of God. He is the way, the truth, and the... If Jesus is my way, who can stop me? If Jesus is your way, who can stop you? Is it a witch? Ancestral? No one. Badi mufiri lwe. Ichalo chonse chia ima. Imin shinga yonse apachalo ya ima. The man Jesus overpowered them because he is the way, the truth, and the life. Why are you trusting yourself? Why are you trying to make it by the means of dubious? No. There is time for everything. It is only Jesus who is the same yesterday, today, and the... Let me take you to the book of the same John 17, verse 20. This is now the prayer from Jesus. Praying for his people and those who believe in him through the message. Like I'm standing here sharing this message to you. Don't be deceived by the life that you are living. Don't be deceived by your status. The type of you know, vehicles that you are driving. Houses. Whether you live in Europe or whatever. Life is from above. And we are all human beings before God Almighty. Thank you. This is verse 20. My prayer is not for them only. I pray also for those 
who believe in me through their what? Their message. Which message? The message from Jesus. If you can change now and believe now, this is your message. This is your what? When you go to church, don't go to church because you want to be a member. That is a problem. God is not interested in membership. His interest is salvation. God cannot perform a miracle because of your membership. It is your salvation. Your healing or your deliverance is because of what? Salvation. If you go to church because all your old friends are there, you grow together, you pray together, then that is a long perception as a child of God. You need to know that church is for salvation. Any other place you call club, you can go there to register your membership. But when it comes to church, it's to follow Jesus. They were the truth and life. See, this is Jesus, you are following him. You are doing business. You go to your office, you work, you work. You knock off Jesus the way who bring you back to your home. Again, you sleep. He's there because he's the way that your life will be full of what? Integrity and dignity. You wake up again, you go to market with that integrity. The truth and life is leading you. When it is time to leave this world, the same Jesus will stand on your bedside to say, my son, my daughter, it is time we go back now to where? To heaven. That is the reason why we go to church, people of God. He is the way, the truth, and the... When you become successful, don't be deceived. Because there are people who are saluting. Whether you are a politician, this, you know, political power a templo. Today you are there, tomorrow another person is coming. Whether you are a teacher, you are a police officer, go and ask retired police officers. Go and ask teachers who have retired, they will tell you, life before and after. But Jesus is the same. Yesterday, today and forever. That is life in you. If Jesus is part of your life, you never, never be called a retired Christian. You are a child of God 24-7. You are a child of God 24 what? 7. But there are others. If you go inside, you ask, sir, are you still working? No, I retired to, uh, hmm, I can't even remember. You ask him, you can't even, you know, recognize the man to say, he was this. Because Bambinga Murimuria, Ngatamasu Minisha Yesu Christu Kuba, in Shila, each in a nobumi, you'll be crooking people. And the same money that you'll be crooking people, you'll be using to feed your family. Everything is destroyed. Are you there? Are you ready to go to heaven? Hmm? Or you want to be a member? Eh? Are you ready to go to heaven? Can I see your hand? Uh, do you want to leave that house? Uh, you leave the, if Jesus were to be appear now to say, okay, let's go to heaven. You see? If Jesus is your father, people of God, you not mind whether you die or you live because he is the way. Even when you are living this world, he will be there to, to say, my son, my daughter, look at where we are going. He will be dancing. Others will be crying. They don't know anything. <laughs> you, you are laughing. <laughs> hmm? When it is time and the way is here to say, let's go, there is no need for you to sing. Praise the Lord. This is why all of us, we need to be prepared for this journey. Eternal life. Eternal what? I want to live eternal life. Go save my soul. I want to live.
want to live eternal life. I want to live eternal life. Lord, save my soul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to live eternal. God save my word. You cannot save by yourself. No. Jesus said, my prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who believe in me through their message. That all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me, I mean you are in me and I'm in you, may they also be, I mean, be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. This is Jesus. He's telling them to say, my father is in me. I am in my father. The prayer that I'm offering, I am not only praying for my disciples. I'm also praying for those who are listening to their message. So that if they believe, they become what? One. And the world must know that you sent me. Look, we are making this man Jesus unpopular. The reason is very simple. We are making unpopular. The church cannot be trusted. That is the place of solution. Why? We are calling this message outside Jesus the way. And we want to tell the world that we, we, we preach Jesus. Without power, no one can believe in you. A satanist, a witch cannot believe in you just preaching the word without Jesus. Because they will challenge you spiritually. To say, he's talking about this. If I leave this witchcraft, my friend, if you you get the point. If you are But you are Yes, we have tested your power. And we have seen that Jesus' power is what? Is reliable and dependable. We are going to surrender all this rubbish and follow who? Jesus. That is the way you can disciple the world. My prayer is not for them. So go and read this message when you go home. Sit down. I showed you this example. When I say Jesus is the way, I mean when you are going for work, he'll be in front of you, leading you. You are driving or walking. You are inside the public transport. He'll be there. You jump out of the bus. He'll be in front of you. You enter the place of work. He'll be there for you. To protect you, to lead you, to guide you, not to engage yourself in corruption. You finish whatever you are doing there you'll be, because he is the way, the truth, and the you are a silent crook. Don't talk about the No. God knows you better. If we did two shibe, in a day two hundred shibe, but the third shibe, it is the crook who is in I'm telling you the truth. But if Jesus is the way, He is there always to lead you, guide you. Anywhere where you are going, you cannot propose a woman you are a married man. You cannot accept a man you are a married woman if Jesus is your way. He is there to say, no, my daughter, no, my son. Zip your mouth. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That is the meaning. Don't just read the Bible to say, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Look at the life that you are living. Jesus the talk so many kwamba. Because he is the truth. He is life. He is the way. Those who are living by the means of this world, it's just a matter of time. I'm telling you. It's just a matter of what? The original man inside you will be attacked by your enemy. What are you going to say? The way people treat the church, by Mona Church, what in the company? They can worship God at their own time. No. No, people of God. Let's be serious. Life is too short. 
There are people who would want to be where you are. They are lifeless, as I'm talking to you. They miss their opportunity. Understand the name what? Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Understand the name Jesus. It's not just a common name. This is a divine name. A solution to our problem. Yes, you need to understand this name. This is why you see, I want to Jesus in the paper. Who are you to call him? For you to call him, your heart must be what? Clear towards him. I want to live eternal life. Nga mwafi alikuwa, mwambo kukula, mwababa lumendo, mwababa kashana, mwaupwa, unangu mwaupwa, mwambo kwa tanavana. What else again? Where do you want to be after that? What do you think is next for you? It's to leave this world. But you are not ready for that one. You want to be wamu ya ya ya. Hmm? Praise the Lord. They may also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. Listen to 22. I have given them the glory that you gave me. That they may be one as we are one. Are we calling the glory of God as children of God? The answer is no. We are just calling, you know, the religious language. You don't even know if you are saved or not. Christian should not be a guesswork. No, you need to be sure. Don't guess about your spiritual life. You can guess anything. Your spiritual life is more important than anything that you are doing in life. All these things that you see shall remain behind you. This is why you need to be sure of the life that you are living. But my main point is that if Jesus is not your way, you are risking your life. Once your spiritual life is attacked, this flesh is too weak. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the... Born again. Hmm? If you are born again, born again. They push a question. Which one is born again? Tamach tap with him. Pump Pantifana no longer your little cherub and be Mungira Pachetu no Wambo. Mava Manava, you are another member of Pavo. And you say, I'm here to worship. Jesus never, you know, lied or gossip about anyone. If you embrace him, you perfect your life. He will perfect your tongue. He will perfect your thinking. Everything in you will be like Jesus. The body, yes, will be this man Mlenga. But the inside is Jesus himself. That's why you see the character of every spiritual man who is led by the Holy Spirit cannot be compared to anyone here on earth. They live above the standard of this world. Jesus is the word. The truth and life. He said, no one can go to my father except through what? Thank you. God bless you.